Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss LTE timers in this video. As you guys know, in my each video you can see I am discussing every time about the parameters and their values and their default values and their range. So in this video also I will cover all these timers default value and range. So continue watching this video you can understand how these timers will work also i will show you dump report so that you can understand how this parameter look like in the network dump so timer t300 timer t300 belongs to the call initiation process as you can see this is the uv and this is the e node b in the call initiation process these two things is always required so when uv send the rrc connection request to the e node b the same time this timer will start timer t300 and once uv receive the rrc connection setup or the reject message this timer will end this timer belongs to the mo class of sib people who are working in the nokia equipment uh, they know that each and every parameters belongs to the any of the mo class so this parameter comes under the sip class the range of this parameter is 100 millisecond 200 millisecond 300 millisecond 400 millisecond 600 millisecond 1000 millisecond 1500 millisecond and 2000 millisecond these are the internal value you can see these uh, value for each and every equipments like ericsson or nokia or something else and uh, here is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these called the internal value you can see these internal value in the nokia so in the nokia when we fetch the dump uh, we uh, we have the option to receive the value either in the internal value form or in the user value form that is the reason i considered both value so no confusion will come and you can easily understand uh, these range and parameters value so this is the timer t300 hope you guys can understand this timer belongs from this time to this time when rrc connection request goes and once you will receive the rrc connection set up or reject message this is the dump screenshot you can see all parameters are belongs to the in different different mo class these are the multiple mo class in the uh, parameter dump and this is the sib mo class in the sib mo class you can see this is the parameter t300 so t300 here i am using the value 3 so 3 means 400 millisecond uh, this dump belongs to the internal value that is the reason you can see here 3 if you downloaded the dump in the form of the user value then you can see the 400 millisecond here so this is the timer t300 now comes to the timer t301 timer t301 is also belongs to the call setup process so uh, this again you have to understand from the uv and the e node b or you can say from the call setup process so once you in the initial phase uv send the rrc connection request to e node b and e node b send the rrc connection setup or reject message to the uv sometimes it will set up and sometimes it will reject so once uv reject the rrc connection setup request then uv again send the rrc connection request uh, re-establishment request to the e node b so once again uv send the rrc connection re-establishment request timer t301 will start and e node b again send the rrc connection re-establishment setup or the reject message at that time timer will stop so this time frame duration comes under the t301 these range is also the same like for t300 100 200 to 2000 millisecond this parameter is also belongs to the mo class sib sib and uh, here is also the user value and internal value both are same for that so hope you can understand let me show you in the dump so it comes under the sip class and you can see here timer t301 comes under the sip class here i am using this value 3 3 means 
400 millisecond. So this was timer T301. Now comes to the timer T302. T302 is also belongs to the call setup process. From the call uh, flow, you can understand this is the UV and this is the E node B. Once RRC in the initial phase, like UV send the RRC connection request to the E node B, and the E node B responds RRC connection reject message. Then UV again send the RRC connection reestablishment request. So time duration between RRC connection reject message to RRC connection reestablishment request belongs to the timer T302 or you can see once UV receive the RRC connection reject message it start timer T302 and once timer T302 is expired then UV again send the RRC connection reestablishment request to the E node B. This parameter belongs to the MO class of LN cell and their range is 1000 millisecond, 2000, 3000 show on 16,000 millisecond means we can retune this parameter in a step of 1000 millisecond. I am using this default value is 8000 millisecond here for timer T302 its internal value and user value both are 8000 millisecond. So uh, you have to understand here what value we have to use for the timer T302 if I use the 1000 millisecond this timer value then after the 1000 millisecond it start again RRC connection reestablishment request. So you have to understand here why E node B send the RRC connection reject message. It may be the overloaded or uh, uh, it may high utilized and if within uh, the few seconds you again send the RRC connection reestablishment request there may be the chances of again for rejection. So it will be better if we wait for some more time and will send the RRC connection reestablishment request then chances for the success rate will increase. Also we will reduce the signaling load on the E node B. So that is the reason I am using the 8000 millisecond for this parameters. You can use accordingly whatever suitable for you. So uh, this is the timer T302. I already told this comes to the LN cell MO class and you can see T1000 T302 value is 8000 millisecond here. Now comes to the timer T304. So timer T304 belongs for the handover process. It not for the call initiation process earlier I told for other uh, timers. So to understand it uh, let me uh, so with the call flow process this is the UV this is the source E node B and this is the target E node B. So when any event is occurred like we suppose A3 event occurred. So after A3 event handover will come in the process. So UV will send the measurement report to the source E node B. In the measurement report it contains the source serving cell strength and the target cell strength. Once source E node B receive the source cell and target cell strength or you can say serving cell or neighbor cell uh, strength it will contact to the neighbor or target cell and send the handover request and target E node B send an acknowledgement to the source E node B yes I am ok to take this handover. Then source E node B send a HO command to the UV. You can say this is the RRC connection configuration message as well. So once source E node B send the handover command to the UV, the same time timer T302 will start. And it will end till UV send the RRC connection configuration complete message successfully. So this is the timer for T304. This belongs to the LN cell MO class and their range is 50 millisecond, 100 millisecond, 150 millisecond, 200, 500, 1000 and 2000 millisecond. This is the user value. This uh, comes for the internal value as well like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2000 means 6. So let me show you this parameter in the dump. 
this belongs to the Allen Selimo class and this is the you can see timer T304 these are four parameters for timer T304 so as you know this parameter belongs for the handover class so handover will be possible for the IRAD for the intra LT handover both are multiple you can say that is the reason we can use different different timer for the intra LT and uh, for the uh, IRAD as well so here I am using for the intra LT 2000 millisecond and for the GSM I am using 100 millisecond so accordingly you can use this timer value so thank you very much for watching my uh, this video please uh, help me to like and subscribe this channel also share this video to your friends so that many people can learn so thank you very much